Good evening, folks. How y'all doing? This is Blue Collar Piper coming at you. Just wanted to say, hey, how y'all doing? And uh, wanted to pose a question now. <clears throat> I know Pipers are Pipers, and we're all Pipers, and we're all brothers and sisters, but uh, as you well know, some of us are uh, a little more or less well-to-do than others. So, uh, I just had a question. But in order for me to pose this question, I need to show y'all something. Okay? But first, the whole sucking. I'm smoking a, uh, this right on here. This is a uh, nice big bold no name briar straight billiard smokes absolutely awesome courtesy of briar fire thank you sir and in it I'm smoking a blend called Billy's Burley now Billy's Burley is a blend that was came up with by Spillproof from Pipe Smokers Forum and it is a blend of two parts see if I can get this right. Two parts of Dan's um, Dan's Tobacco Bill Bailey's Balkan Blend. Whew. Yeah, tongue twister. Two parts of that and one part of a blend called Best Burley from a California um, brick and mortar called Caramel Pipes. Caramel's Pipes. Um, and whoa, it's a freaking amazing. If you ever get a chance to try it in the mix, strongly recommend it. It is very rich and tasty. It's really, really good. Anyways, to, first of all, let me, let, me, let me set up the question, okay? Now, I like tobacco. I like lots of different kinds of tobacco. And uh Yeah, don't tell my bowls did. Anyways, I like lots of different tobaccos. And as the old saying goes, you know, you gotta sell or you gotta build up your you know, build it up while you can while you can afford to. And for me that's really, really important because it's only a matter of time, right, before Uncle Sam decides to smack us with the mega tax, and, uh, yeah, we're not going to be able to buy, at least those by me aren't really going to be able to buy much in the way of tobacco anymore. And it's already a pretty good struggle now. But thanks to some good budgeting, a few trades, and some generosity of some people, um, I've been able, to, been able to really build up a decent amount of tobacco. Uh, including, you know, pipe tobaccos, snuffs, my hookah tobaccos. I've got a little bit of everything. Um, here, let me show you. Okay, you ready? Taking a little trip. Okay, down here. This. This is my entire cellar. Yeah, it doesn't look like a lot, but believe me, that's a lot for me. There's, uh, I've got right here is some Russell Lutz Angler's Dream, a little over three ounces. This is some of my own blend. I call it Smooth Easy Vanilla. This is some uh, Smoker's Pride Rum Cured. Don't recommend this. Don't get this stuff. It's not good. It doesn't bite, but it doesn't have much flavor either. This is a Smoker's Pride Cherry, which I actually like all right. It's not bad. For well, the money, is great. This is uh, two and a half ounces of that best burley from Caramel Pipes. Hey, little Bessie. My kitty kitty. I can't really see her, but anyways. And then right here is Admiral's Choice Manila Cavendish. These are about, little, each of these are a little over three ounces. One of my personal favorites, Smoker's Fried Whiskey. This is really good. Down here, I have some C&D's Kicking Chickens, which was a custom uh, blend made for one. Then here I have an unopened tin of 
so it looks private stock navigators blend okay now that's my seller this is the stuff that I don't touch. This stuff sits under my cabinet and that's where it stays. Then we take it to up here into the dark hole here. Let's see if I can hold this still for you guys. Now you got some let's see if I can do this. You got some Smoker's Pride Rome Cured. The whole, this whole bag just about except what I took out of the jar there. This is uh Baron's Club Blend. Below that we have some, yes, my 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 video skills suck, some roll cake. Uh, I've got about an ounce and almost an ounce and a half of some Captain Cocoa, which is another different brick and mortars blend. I've got, these are a couple of crumble cakes, that's a little bit of kicking chicken from C&D. This is some... Um, that's a little brick of C and D's night train. This is a bunch of whiskey. Of, uh, back here is good old Smoker's Pride whiskey. You smoke a lot of this stuff. Uh, back behind that is some Altidus Edgeworth in this tin right here. And then uh, I've got probably about a half an ounce of. Mark, I don't know if you'll be able to see that. Let's see what the focus is. Well, this is sweet and savory Marquee series from Hearth and Home. I haven't got. I, I had one bowl of that, and it's pretty good. And then back in the back here, I don't know if you can see it because it's way back in the back. You got the Russell Let's Angler's Dream. This is really good. Pack it real, real tight. And then I got this thing that's full of. Full of bags. These are all aromatic samplers that I smoke from. And then below that, we start getting into the nicer stuff. Some of the nicer stuff. We got some. There's some Sutler's Private Stock, some McBaron's Seven C Black, a couple of uh, an amateur blenders blends, Sergeant Miller's Badass Burley, and Sergeant Miller's a Stout Base. I've got some more of my Smooth Easy Vanilla. This I actually smoke from. I got my floating jar of Middleton cherry. Love this stuff. I'll try to speed this up, you guys. This is getting kind of boring, I'm sure. Uh, Admiral's Choice Natural Cabinet. If you haven't tried it, you really should. They only sell it at CVS. CVS Pharmacy. And then we start getting into some of the really nice stuff. Well, that's cherry. Smoker's Fried Cherry. Number five, Sutler Stock. Matt Baron Sennessy Gold. You got some salt of multiability. You got some salt of taste of summer. You got some. Oh yeah, Light Works and Wilkes, number one ninety six. That's a good one. I like that one. That was really tasty. Oh, then we start getting into. This is a different brick and mortar Hell's Tobacco Shop. It's called Asian Mystery, and I believe this is an all Oriental blend. Or it's got a lot of oriental to it, anyway. And you got some, this is some squadron leader, Samuel Gaywith. Yep. You got some Dunhill's London mixture. Nom, 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 nom. That's good stuff. Let's see, what else we got here? Good old Dunhill, nine, my mixture, 965. That's, I love 965. That's some good stuff. And if you guys haven't tried this, this is one of the best flakes I've had recently, short of maybe the Penzance. Strongly recommend you try this stuff. This stuff is awesome. Now, amongst that, of course, I have my nasal snuffs back here. Most of it's American and homemade. This is probably the only thing I have left in any kind of bulk quantity. And this is a big tin of, uh, see if I can pronounce it, Musino Tabak from the Chryslink. The Chrysling? From uh, Denmark? No, the leather ones. Sorry. This stuff is tasty. Smells great. And I've got, you know, you've seen some other snuff. 
And then I have all my hookah tobaccos. Um, and even with hookah tobaccos, most people you tell you, you know, it's, it's soupy, fruity, you know, tastes like candy bars, tastes like fruit juices and stuff. A lot of people do smoke that stuff, but it's not really my cup of tea. I'm more into what they call black leaf, which is like, um, this is from Egypt, I believe, Moussel Salam. This is a plain, unflavored black, black leaf, mostly Virginia's. Uh, Khan El Khalili from Nakla. It's also very black leaf. Um, Nakla Zaglul, another black leaf. Can you tell a theme here? And I've also got some, some uh, Mohar Jarak, which I believe is from the United Arabic Emirates. And then, of course, I've got some fruity stuff, you know, too. Got to have a little bit of everything, right? And, yeah, I like my tobaccos, and, and, and I really enjoy all this stuff. But as far as the pipe tobaccos go, I catch myself reaching for my cheap stuff a lot more than I do the nicer stuff, like like the, the Samuel Gaywist or the, the Dunhills or, or the ones like that, because... I have, I guess because I have more of it, and because it's a cheaper smoke, it doesn't necessarily taste better, but I can smoke more of it, and not have to worry about, oh shit, I'm out, you know? Um, do you guys catch yourselves doing that? I mean, I'm not talking about the guys that, you know, have obviously hundreds of dollars a month of expendable income that they can burn on tobacco and pipes and stuff like that. I'm talking about the guys who, ha who have less than $80 a month total they can spend on anything tobacco related. Um, if you're in that group, you catch yourself doing that, you get something really nice, and you just hang on to it. Like, here's a perfect example. I got a little sample of Penzance. I did a review on this one. When I got the sample, I had enough for probably about three or four bowls. I've got enough there at least for one more good, nice big bowl, maybe two small bowls if I'd smoke them in my little legends. I don't want to smoke it. I want to keep it. Am, am I the only one that does that? Let me know what you think. Throw me in some comments. Let me know what, you know, give me your heads up. And uh, of course, as usual, like, subscribe, comment, blah, blah, blah. And uh, thanks a lot, guys. Y'all have a great evening.